Week two of the college football season did not disappoint for our area teams. SEMO and SIU were both in action and both of them got big wins. Let's start in Cape Girardeau where the Red Hawks hosted Lindenwood for the second annual game ball brawl. Now, if you ask the SEMO players, this isn't much of a rivalry. The Red Hawks won 49 to 28 last season. Yesterday, the number 14 ranked team in the country opened OVC Big South Conference play by an even bigger margin, winning 45 to 7 and taking home the trophy for the second straight season. This game was all SEMO from start to finish. Quarterback Paxton DeLaurent threw for 267 yards and three touchdowns, and star back Gino Hess went 115 yards for two scores. But the Red Hawk offense wasn't the only bright spot. The defense held the Lions to just one touchdown and forced two interceptions, including a 72-yard pick six from Henry Pickens the third. The win marks the first of the 2023 season. It's also the first at the newly renovated Hawk Field, which was packed, by the way. Players shared what it meant to win in front of a packed house. Yeah, I was super excited. I didn't know really what to expect. I mean, right when I got here, I've only played with, you know, half a stadium, so it was my first time. And Cape comes to watch football. That was, that was sweet. The town came and supported us. That, that was one of the most fun games I've ever played in my life, and I was so grateful for the fans and the experience. It was very important. We had a stadium open there. All the alumni was out to support us. We had all the fans out, so it was a big momentum boost for us. And the Red Hawks will be back at Hauk Field in front of a big crowd for the huge rivalry game with SIU on Saturday. And 